Today's video is on version 3.1 of Boyomi Tune Shader. This is available right now as of June 14th to all $5 plus patrons. Links in the description. If you're interested in Patreon, feel free to take a look. Most of this week has not actually been work on the Tune Shader, but on explaining what everything in the Tune Shader does. So I made this world, which you can find just by going to Worlds, searching for Poyomi. Uh, just go to it, it's public. It's got a mirror, because everyone needs that. But the big thing about this world is the tutorials. So we have every category in the default shader, not in the extra shaders as of 3.0, so there's not... We don't have blending and panosphere on here yet. It's probably going to come, but it's not here yet. But this gives you a really good explanation of how everything in the shader works. It has a uh, showcase thing for every single property of the shader. So for lighting, you have lighting type, lighting ramp, shadow strength, so on, all the way down to the end. So you can not only read and understand what each thing does, but you can get a little visual on how everything works. And new this week is Flipbook, which is basically the ability to overlay a sprite sheet anywhere on your model. And it has a whole bunch of settings, which we will explain in Unity. But this is how the uh, this is how the world works in general. Usually, you have if it can be animated, I animate it up here. So it's going from white to red for the color. And you can just see the uh, GIF going from normal color to red. And it goes on and on, explains every single thing. All right, let's get to Unity. So there's not a lot this week. It's basically only, uh, there's some name changes here and there. I think I changed some stuff from map to mask when it was really just a mask. And the only really new thing is flipbooks. There's been some behind the scenes stuff that you're not really going to notice, but flipbooks are the big things for you. So, as I said earlier, they're just animated GIFs basically, or sprite sheets. You can see this one, the spinning printy, is actually just this sprite sheet. So, how it works is I will, I'll just set it up from scratch. Um, Oops, wrong shader. So let's just reset this. Make sure it didn't break anything. Um, so all you have to do is go into your flipbook settings, get a sprite sheet. If you don't have a sprite sheet, but you have like a GIF you want to use, you can actually go to a website. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, yeah, so you can go to Easy GIF and you can just slap in any GIF here and you can convert it into a sprite sheet. Alright, and once you have the sprite sheet, all you have to do is just take the sprite sheet, put it into the sprite textures. At first it's going to look like this, which is not what you want. So you have to look at your sprite sheet. Go, okay, there's five columns here, four rows, and in total there are 16 images. So go over here, go into your total frames, and then you have 16, your rows were four, and your columns were five. And you want to run it at 24 FPS. We'll shrink it down a little, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. There we go. And it's that easy. So all we did there was set the rows and columns to be what we counted, and then you set the total frames to be however many frames there are, so 16 in this case. And then the scale, X and Y are the scale, and Z and W or Z and W are the offset. 
So Z in this case is working as X and W is working as Y. So it's pretty straightforward. You can just slap this on your model, move these around. I'm really interested in seeing what people do with it past just like the obvious um, like glowing tattoos that move now. So I'm hoping we get to see some cool stuff with this because I'm sure artists can have a lot of fun with this feature, really animating stuff however they want. Now you can rotate it, which will just rotate it in place around its center point and you can give it a mission. Another thing, if you want to have, or if you have a, I guess a more complex sprite sheet or something that you want more control over, <clears throat> more control over, there's a current frame option. So by default, it's at negative one. And if it's at any value below zero, it will just play the animation normally. But if you set it to zero or above, you'll see that it just pauses. That's because this is actually controlling which frame is currently being shown. So you can slide this along and play it manually. You can create animations like you see right here. It's just going from 0 to 16.5. And you could you just have more control if you do it this way. So I think that covers everything this week. So if you have any problems, feel free to come to this world, check it out. If you still have problems, or even if you don't, feel free to join the Discord. I'll leave a link in the description. Again, this is only available as of right now to $5 plus patrons. So if you're interested in that, there is a link to the Patreon in the description. And I think that's all for now. Thanks for watching.